Hey all, Johnny Mullet here with another episode of Schooly Product Review Series. Today we are going to review the Boss Audio 12 Volt Marine Stereo System. I installed this particular system in my bus. Um, typically, people would have a regular stereo in the uh, driver's compartment area, like a car stereo, or maybe your bus even came with a radio. Um, my bus did not come with a stereo. I thought about installing a stereo system but I figured I would make my stereo system more convenient for me where I could use it while living in the bus and using the stereo without turning the ignition to accessory or on and also so I could use it while driving so let's go check out this pretty cool boat stereo I got in the bus I have my particular stereo wired up or wired up to a switch so um, the stereo is not powered on all the time so what I did is I hooked the 12 volt lead from the stereo and wired it into a switch so now we got a switch to turn it on you can see the welcome screen and it's reading Bluetooth audio at the moment let me get set up here so the modes that the stereo has, it actually has Bluetooth audio, it has auxiliary, it also has a USB port in the back, and it also has an AM-FM tuner. Um, for instance, with the Bluetooth audio, I am able to connect my cell phone with this device, or my tablet, or whatever Bluetooth item I have, I can connect to the stereo. And usually with my phone connected, it automatically starts playing music. Which is kind of nice, because from the driver's seat, I can control the volume up and down from my phone. So I don't want to get nailed for copyright stuff by playing music, but I can play right through my phone and control the audio. Which is pretty cool. So we also, we're going to scroll through, this is a source button, uh, forward and back, volume up and volume down. We're going to turn the volume down because I have it kind of high, you know. Okay, and here we have a band, a source, preset, and audio. So we also have a display and enter button. If we hit source, we can go through, this would be auxiliary. The auxiliary I have hooked into this particular stereo is my television set. We hit source again and we have an AM FM tuner. So we can play AM FM and I think there's the programs. There's FM. Equalizer controls. And now we have USB here on the source. This would play whatever is on my USB stick. Um, usually it's uh, fine. Um, I haven't had any problems with it so far. It's been absolutely working perfect. I also have a mute button so I can stop the sound. Uh, this particular stereo does not have a remote control, so I do not have a remote control. Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, let me show you some more. So this particular Boss Audio Marine Stereo System that I bought, um, it's on Amazon. I will leave a link below in the description where you can check it out. It also came with two 6.5 inch speakers. Uh, the speakers themselves aren't the greatest. They don't really, you know, rock the house, but they do sound good in a small environment like a bus or, you know, a vehicle of any kind. Uh, these are actually waterproof speakers, and the stereo system itself is also waterproof. So that's a good thing to know since if I leave a window open or something gets wet, I really don't have to worry too much about having problems with my stereo. So it's been actually good for me. I bought it in April of 2018. So here it is, mid-October 2019. It's been working great for me. I've had no complaints with it on Amazon. I think they gave it a four-star rating. They had a few complaints about um, when they got... When the stereo got wet while it, um, it was in the boat, um, the screen fogged over, you know, certain moisture-related issues. 
Um, on the back side of the stereo, all you have to do to install this is drill a three inch hole, get a three inch hole saw, drill it, mount it in there, and there's a clamp piece on the back. So it's a pretty simple install, positive and negative. There's four channels for speakers. I only have two channels hooked up because I only have two speakers. I can add more down the road. And there's also the auxiliary port and um, USB. It also has RCA jacks and audio jacks. So, you know, you can hook up pretty much any device to the stereo system and enjoy it. So I want to thank you all for watching this episode of the Scully product and review series. And as always, I don't want your money. I don't have a Patreon. I'm not accepting any cash donations. But if you'd like to help the channel out, check out my Amazon wish list. It is linked down below in the description. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.